Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for joining me. As always, your presence is appreciated. So, let's get into this book review. The book is called A Spy in the Struggle by Aya De Leon. And I hope I pronounced that right. And this is the cover of the book. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so let's get into this, okay? So Yolanda, the main character, has lived in what I would consider a pretty sheltered life. She is a very smart woman that has worked hard for her education and career. Yolanda believed she was bound to climb to the highest bar on the legal corporate ladder. That is, until the FBI showed up at the law firm she was working at and changed the trajectory of her immediate future. Yolanda was not forfeiting her long-term goals for the corrupt legal firm and snitched on her employer by providing documents that were meant for the shredder. By doing this, she inadvertently put herself at a disadvantage. Due to this being a high profile and publicized takedown, which she ended up playing a key role in. So, after this law firm got taken down, guess what? She didn't have employment. So, Yolanda had to make a decision because her finances were running out. She decided to try working for the FBI since they were the ones that essentially upended her life course. She wanted to become a part of the legal team within the FBI and go after the bad guys. Yolanda was accepted and began what she thought would be a great journey in the legal department representing the FBI. Well, Yolanda got a twist thrown at her when she was assigned to infiltrate an extremist group called Red, Black, and Green that had it out for the Randall Corporation that um, had set up shop in their community. This corporation was supposed to bring jobs to the community and be an environmentally green entity. Now, the corporation set up in a lower income area and so the thought behind this company coming to that particular area was to provide jobs for the immediate community members. However, there were a small few of actual immediate community members that got jobs and they got the lower paying jobs, you know, the janitor, the, you know, the cleaner of equipment, um, just lower level jobs. Um, and this company would basically relocate and give the higher paying jobs to people that did not even live in the community. The, the staff that were of higher pay grade were commuting. They didn't even live in the community in which this corporation um, was located. So the corporation from the get-go did not uphold that part of the bargain. And then on top of that, the corporation was believed to not be a green entity and was contaminating um, the land, water, and resources around the community in which they set up shop in. So with this company, Coming to the area, um, the community found out, obviously, that there was some contradictory information about the corporation's practices, um, who they would be hiring, and they were not as environmentally 
conscious as they claim. The FBI believed Yolanda was the best fit for the job because of her race and the ties to the community due to attending the prestigious all-girls school there. Basically, her old stomping grounds, really. Um, Yolanda was to go undercover and get details about the activities of this uh, group. Although, I don't know... I don't know why they thought nobody would recognize her seeing um, as she attended the school in the town but the author somehow pulled it off for the most part I don't I don't know but um, shortly uh, after a dead girl pops up a dead girl pops up and prompts outrage in the community it is believed there is a cover-up regarding this young lady's death and the Randall Corporation is somehow involved. And again, shoddy police work um, is involved. However, there is one officer that isn't so sure things were handled appropriately regarding this young lady's death and it weighs on his conscience. A search for what really happened to this girl ensues. As Yolanda became more involved with this assignment, things began to unravel that left her feeling like something just isn't right. Is Yolanda being watched? Given only half the intel needed to fully comprehend the extent of what she's become involved in. She began to question the FBI's motives for infiltrating this organization. Yolanda began to feel as though this assignment wasn't on the up and up. And she may be getting played. Or she's being set up to be the escape goat. Dead bodies and evasive directives, among other things, caused Yolanda to take matters into her own hands. Along the way, Yolanda becomes involved with a member of this alleged extremist group on an intimate level. Will this budding relationship be a hindrance or an asset to her assignment? Will Yolanda find out what the parties involved are up to? Will her cover be blown? Will Yolanda make it out alive? Well, I'll let you read the book to find out. Okay, so I enjoyed reading this book. Um, it did keep me interested to see how things would play out. Um, there was a bit of romance that broke up, you know, the mystery. Um, this did keep you guessing as to the motives and who was behind certain incidents that took place. Um, I would say this is a moderate paced book. Um, the climax seemed to go pretty fast for me, but that may be just me reading it fast uh, you know, excited about the action and just kind of like, bloop, now it's done. Um, I will say it will bring up questions about um, people's motives, even in the workplace. Um, you know, in this situation, she was given an assignment. It kind of seemed like something wasn't right with it. Um, kind of felt like she was being watched or she was getting, you know, set up to be an escape goat, which can prompt some conversation about, um, ethics, um, integrity, instincts, you know, your gut feelings. Um, it also, uh, can prompt the, uh, topic or conversation of groups that you are affiliated with. Like what, um, do they really stand for? Um, you know, what is the perceived perspective or perceived outlook on that group from outsiders? Um, 
to me, uh, in relation to this book, <laughs> this group of so-called extremists were mainly comprised of uh, teenagers. Um, and we normally don't think of extremists as teenagers. However, um, within, you know, last year, couple years, it's been some teenagers and some, some, uh, young adults that have, uh, kind of done some really, uh, harmful and, um, terroristic like activity. And so, uh, when you first start reading this book, you're like, oh, wow, these, you know, these, you know, this group is going to be horrible. But just like Yolanda kind of found out, it really wasn't all that, you know, the FBI made it out to be. Um, and it was kind of like this big corporation really wanted to set up shop and do whatever it wanted under the falsehood that they would be bringing employment and um, would abide by, uh, you know, uh, environmental uh, expectations, etc. And that that didn't kind of turn out to be the way the way they uh, did business. So. Um, it goes to wonder if this big corporation um, was uh, greasing the palm of the FBI or, you know, to, to get away with some things. But yet, um, you know, the FBI sent someone in there to, to infiltrate this, this group. I don't know if it was, I, I really wasn't clear on if this this infiltration was to just give uh the fbi information that then was relayed to the corporation so they could you know cover their backsides um but um at any rate uh i enjoyed the book um it was moderately paced um and i give this book a five out of five so subscribe click like share tell a friend if you've read the book comment your thoughts i would like to know what you think um and until next time keep turning the pages my book lovers